Well, we're definitely getting into a spot. A lot more stuff in the ground. High and loud. And you get these loud numbers. Or I should say loud signal high numbers. Oh, you never know what you're gonna get. And I think we got something neat. Well, hey everybody, welcome to a beautiful Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So, I'm out at the tail end of an old deserted farm. Yeah, this is, I'm not sure how far back it goes. There were definitely people here in the 1800s, but I just spent the last 15 minutes walking around because it's pretty cool and interesting. You can see we got a nice little brook here running out to the back end of the property. Cellar hole is up there, but it is loaded with junk. But interesting, there is a road that heads out into the woods up. I'm not going up today, not looking for any ups. But as I was walking around, uh, I noticed that there's a lot of very nice small side yards, paddocks, and whatnot. The, unfortunately, the cellar, the old foundation is just loaded with junk. People must have been dumping here for a long time. But surprisingly, and you'll see when we get over there, there's some really nice, clean side yards. So no pressure today. I don't care. This is just a spot I've been putting off for like five years to come check out. We'll swing see what we find and that's it just gonna enjoy being out here so i just want to take a little look around before i start metal detecting it's remarkable how nice this is here because you cross that wall go across the street to that side It's uh, it's almost unbearable. This is something else. They spent some time cleaning this land. Beautiful, right down at the tail end of the farm. But as you can see by the trees, this water is generally not sitting this far up, I can see it. You guys might not be able to because I'm using a wide angle, but down there, there's a, a beaver dam. Apparently, we're still in a drought. We're getting closer to not being in one. But when you get out in the woods, there's no shortage of water. It just seems to be not where it's supposed to be. A lot of flooded out spots, but yet you get to the reservoirs and they're low, real low. All right, I'm gonna start back here and just start working my way across the old farm. Well, it doesn't sound deep, honestly. No idea what we're gonna find today and I really don't care. Just to be out and digging is always a good thing. Well, modern day shotgun shell. That being with what I just said, I don't want to find a hundred of these, but... It's to be expected. Same thing. Shotgun shell, different variety. Just slightly higher numbers. I'm making my way up still. Nothing but ammo back there. Is it? It is. We got a relic. We have a bale seal. 
with text. MFGA 123. And more stuff on this side. Certified bail and something or others. So that's great. I haven't found a bail seal in a while, and for those of you who are wondering what a bail seal is, back in the old days you'd get your bail of seed and whatnot, I guess just like today, but they would crimp these lead seals around the top, you know, to prove certify for taxation and all that other good stuff. All right, let's see what else we can find. Upper 50s. Definitely a piece of something that was larger. Well, no idea what that was part of, but it was definitely part of something. See the holes in it? Made with a purpose. Well, we're definitely getting into a spot. A lot more stuff in the ground. High and loud. And it might be hard to tell, but uh, I'm going uphill. Wall goes up, corners off. So I'm at basically the front corner of the old farm. The road or the driveway is right up there. So I guess it makes more sense coming up here to hear more things. When you get these loud numbers, or I should say loud signal high numbers, oh, you never know what you're gonna get. And I think we got something neat. It's a little case. Now let me brush it. And as you can see, it's got fancy on it. A little clasp right here. Nothing on the back, but will it open? Oh, okay, so it's hinged here. We have a good collection of dirt and roots. <laughs> That's it. Huh. So, I'm assuming that's how it was uh, marketed as, or meant to be vertical. With that clasp on top, and I don't know if it's a compact or what it is, but that is awesome. Bottle cap. Well, as you can see in here, everything is loud and not very deep. I mean, we're not dealing with a terribly old site, obviously, but old enough to be interesting. Well, like I was just saying, old enough to be interesting, but not terribly old. That's a cap for bare aspirin. So, good guess, people were here into the 1900s. But it's probably why it still looks the way it does. Well, it never fails. The signal I decide not to choose because I went on a tear of digging ammo turns out to be something cool. It's a little 
I think it's a two hole sewing button. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It sounded just like the ammunition, you know, that upper 50s squeaker. But, there we go. Got ourselves a button for the day. Because, you know, when doing this and filming, I can set myself up to film every signal, but when it's that 53 to 56 over and over again, it takes me twice as long to get to things like this, but uh, still digging them. Well, after an intense round of digging ammunition on that side of the wall, it's time to see what's on this side of the wall. Terrain is definitely not the same. Yeah, rocks, big ones. And it just starts with the, the whole up and down thing. Doesn't look like any land improvement on this side. everybody that's it that was fun uh, you can see on this side of the wall this is where they were discharging the rocks that side is unbelievably beautiful and clean but I appreciate you joining me I only had about an hour and a half for this for this little dig so to find a few things was rewarding because it's been thin lately and uh, life has been taking its turns and swings so I will see you all very soon get outside just enjoy it got that outside enjoyment and enjoy your not Thursday